it's Chantel with Wildberry Quilting, and I've got a package from VIP Cross Stitch. I cannot wait to get into this. Let me tell you, VIP Cross Stitch is quickly becoming one of my favorite places to get printed cross stitch charts from, and they're starting to grow on me, I gotta say. Now, these actually came as, there's a set of 12 of these, and I picked out four that I thought would look really cute in my kitchen, and that I thought you guys would really enjoy. This is the first one. It has, they all are a little bit different, and there's something a little bit in there for everybody, I would say. It says the eggs in French, but I don't know that I can pronounce that. <laughs> and it says, uh, I believe this part down here says, and other products of the farm. I believe, I looked it up when I first picked it out and I'm trying to remember what it said, but I think that's what it said. Now, the chart itself is nicely printed. We do have some back stitching here. There are, looks to be 21 colors and then five colors for back stitch. So there is a bit of back stitching to this. Now I'm gonna put you into the downward view so that you can see everything. Okay, so everything came wrapped up. All right, so our canvas came wrapped in this plastic. I've already removed it, but that's nice to make sure that it does not end up getting wet. And <clears throat> let's take a look at this. Now, just so that you guys can see the image itself again. Where is that? There it is. <clears throat> All right, so again, this is what it looks like. Hopefully you're not getting a glare there. And I just thought this was really cute and very vintagey and kind of cottage core looking. We've got surging on all four sides. This is spring brand and it is 14 count. We've got our 21 colors and let's take a look at the symbols. I don't see anything at this point that looks like it would be difficult to distinguish. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see and make that determination as well. But everything looks like the symbols are different enough that you shouldn't have any kind of confusion there. It looks like everything is printed very well into its own square. There is no overlapping that I can see here. Yep, I don't see any overlapping. It looks great. And again, looking at the actual symbols put onto the chart, I don't see anything confusing here either. We've got large areas of block stitching. So there's not, there's not really much as far as confetti goes. Everything looks like you got at least some chunks in there that you can stitch. This looks great. This looks like a nice, easy stitch. The most difficult part for most people would probably be the back stitching. And that, even the back stitching does not look so bad. There is quite a bit of it though, but they're all pretty straight line. So, there's not a bunch of strange loop-de-loops that you're doing. 
a little bit of curving around the eggs. So that's about it. But I think this is a really good one. And I don't see any issues with this. I think this would be fun to put in the car. It's a good size for that. I'm going to zoom you out again so that you can see kind of the size of it. The canvas itself is... 13 inches by 13 inches, it's a square. And the design on the canvas is, let me see, where do I need to measure this from? We've got, it's about nine and a quarter. So nine and a quarter inches for the size of the canvas itself which I know that seems like a very odd measurement. However, it looks like there is space. Once you've washed this, there will be at least a quarter inch of space on each of the sides. So you shouldn't have difficulty with framing that really weird nine and a quarter measurement. It'll probably be more like a solid nine if you want it to be or, you know, you could go with a bigger frame if you wanted to, but I think, you know, nine inches would probably be a good size. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now, as I said, there's like 12 different designs for this. Oh, you know what? I forgot to pull out the thread. Let's take a look at this thread. Oh, look at that. Those are those are going to be beautiful. I love these reds and this coral color. That is really nice. And then we've got these really beautiful greens. Oh, I can't wait to see this. This is just like how I would have imagined the threads, except for much more vibrant. You really can't tell how vibrant it's going to be from the picture. I think that going with these threads and how beautiful and vibrant they are, this is going to be a hundred times prettier once it's actually stitched up. That's really beautiful. And we've got our two gold tipped needles or gold head needles as well. And that looks like it's probably going to be plenty of floss. So, Oh, and I should say that this is also not a full coverage. This is a partial. All right. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Now, as I was saying, there are 12 designs in this. Oops, forgot to put that in there. I'll do that later. In this collection and the sticker's in front of this one so you can't see it. So I'll have to open it up for you. I picked four of the designs and let me tell you, it was difficult narrowing it down to which four I wanted because they are all beautiful. Even the ones that I don't particularly care for the particular item like coffee, that one was absolutely beautiful and I was very tempted to get it as one of the ones. So this one is the confections and it is all different jam jars. We've got, oh, it looks like a raspberry, a straw or a strawberry. I think there's peach or apricot and grape. I think those are adorable. And Oh, yes, one of them has to be strawberry because there's little strawberries up in the corner. <clears throat> Our chart is printed nicely. So if we wanted to do this on as it counted, we certainly could. We got our little sheet of all of the information. The other one came with this as well. This is just how to do different stitching. And let's get into... Well, let's first take a look at the floss this time. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like these flosses even more than the other ones. Oh, wow. Look at these like very 
It is definitely a berry color. I was going to say pink or red, but it's berry. It's somewhere in between. And these purples. Oh, and look at this yellow. Oh my gosh. I could just sit here and look at each individual floss. They're all gorgeous. I am thrilled with this color palette. This is just beautiful. I cannot wait to do this one. Again, we've got our two gold head needles. So let's set the floss aside and get into our canvas. Now, I believe these are all going to be the same size since they are from the same collection. They're under the same thing on the website. And by the way, VIP Cross Stitch did send all of this over to me for free and they sent me a discount code for you guys to use to get 10% off. I will be putting that down in the description box along with links to all of these cross stitch kits. All right. Again, this is not a full coverage. This is a partial. So it should be quick, easy stitching and a fantastic one for a car trip. We've got looks like 27 colors and I believe one color for back stitching. Is that correct? No, that is not correct. Not sure why I thought what that's referencing, but we've got Oh, six colors for back stitching. And everything else is just going to be a full stitch. And there are, again, 27 colors. So let's take a look at each of our symbols. And, oops, I've got to zoom you in so you can see them too. Everything is looking fantastic. I don't see anything that would be confusing here. All of these colors look great. Your closest ones are orange and yellow and they are definitely very far apart in shade so there shouldn't be an issue there. I think even if you were colorblind you wouldn't have an issue distinguishing that yellow and orange because the shade of them is different. And yeah, this looks fantastic. I am very excited about this. Everything has printed perfectly in its squares. I don't see anything that looks off. I've got to say, I am thrilled with Spring Brand so far. I haven't seen anything that has been where the printing has been off center of a square. Everything looks perfectly centered, which I've got to, which, you know, I have no idea how they've managed to do that. Honestly, how do you get all of that print? How do you get that symbol printed exactly perfect into that tiny little square? I have no idea. If I try doing this, it's a good thing that I'm not the one printing these charts because it would probably be all out of center and man, I'm glad I'm not the one having to figure out how to do that because I don't think I could do it like they do. But that is fantastic. Again, these are all the same size and this is 14 count. They do also have these available in 11 count. So if you like the larger stitching, if maybe your eyes get tired with 14 count, or maybe it's a little bit difficult for you to, you know, your fingers aren't as nimble, these are a great option because they do have them in 11 count as well. All right, so the next one, oh, <laughs> you know what? I said about how tempted I was with the coffee one, even though I don't drink coffee. I guess I was so tempted that it actually did end up being one of the ones that I picked. 
because look at how beautiful the coffee one is. It is beautiful. And actually it says the cafe, not coffee. So, you know, maybe you've got coffee, but you also got some tea here too. I bet you that's why I decided to get it. Well, that and also because I knew a lot of you guys would probably be really interested in the coffee one. And I talked myself into it with the tea. <laughs> Again, we got some back stitching on this one as well. And our chart looks lovely. We've got our extra stitching information sheet, our flosses. Now it looks like this one has significantly less flosses than the other two, but I don't think that's going to be any issue. We're still going to end up with a beautiful finished result. And the really nice thing about the way that they do their charts is that you can already tell that it's going to be a nice result because all of the coloring is there, how it's going to be on the actual, you know, for the actual finished design. You can kind of see it there. But that gives you an idea as to how it's going to look when it's done. So if it looks right there, it'll look right when it's stitched. So I don't think that's going to be any issue at all, the number of colors on this. It is 13 colors, and then we've got five backstitch colors. These are gorgeous, too. You know, I didn't even notice that there was green in there. I guess there is for the, for the flower decorations on the cups or the teapots. Those are beautiful, very pretty. I am going to have car projects for the year, I swear. But you know what? Those little projects are such nice little victories. So if you don't like to commit to a huge project or you're looking for something that you can take on a trip with you, these are a great option. And you can stitch up the whole set of 12 if you want for your kitchen. Just got to have enough walls to hang them, right? <laughs> but none of them are that big either. So I think that you could just decorate a wall with them and it would look lovely. All right. So we've got our canvas. And again, this looks fantastic. There is large chunks of stitching, so it should be nice, relaxing stitching with no, you know, you don't have to break thread a hundred times for confetti or anything. This is very nice. And I'm looking to see how everything has printed into its squares and everything looks good. I don't see any overlapping going on. That's fantastic. And again, all of our, see how you zoomed all the way in? All of our symbols are easily distinguishable. So no issues there. And I haven't been saying it, but these are 128 stitches wide and it says 124 stitches high. So I guess that the actual design might be slightly rectangular instead of no, you know what? The actual design should still be square because looking at it on here, although it says it is 128 by 124, that is the size of your grid. So you can see that the grid here extends to 124, but there are no stitches past that 120 mark. 
So in fact, it actually ends a little bit before that. And the same is true over here. It extends to 128. There is a little bit of stitching past the 120 mark, but it's a little bit smaller on this side too. So that probably means that this would be a perfect square or at least very close to it. I don't think you have problems with framing that either. All right, now I've figured out that I got something that's, you know, I picked the cafe one. I can't remember what I picked as my fourth one. So let's take a look at it and find out. There we go. Oh, I just got a glance of it. I can see why I picked it. It's lemons and oranges. Now, there is definitely something for everyone in this series. I know I saw olive oil and what else was there? We got the eggs, we got the caf the cafe or coffee. It's not the same thing, you know, but the cafe one. We got the oranges. We've got the confecture. So, oh yes, they had candy and they had bread. Yeah, just check it out. I will link it down below, but if you like this kind of style and you don't like any of the ones that I picked, I can almost guarantee you there's one in there or there's multiple in there that you will love because this is just such an adorable line. All right. Oh, and very affordable too. They were very inexpensive. I think these chart these were only like around seven dollars and change each one. All right, so we've got a grooms or a groomes. I don't know how you would pronounce that, but I believe it says oranges and or citrus maybe. I think it says oranges though. And then down here, it actually says the fruits of the sun in French. <laughs> so you've got that whole little French kitchen, French country kitchen thing going on. Again, we've got our nicely printed chart and our information sheet. Let's take a look at our losses just as you would expect we've got a whole bunch of beautiful oranges and yellows and greens very beautiful oh that's gonna be I'll try and hold all these glosses together for you so that you can see them those are going to be absolutely beautiful stitched up. I, I'm not sure what color I like, but I love these oranges and yellows, I think, the best. But those greens are definitely gorgeous as well. We've got our two little gold head needles. And then we've got our package with our canvas, which I flipped the wrong way. All right. And let's open it up. We have 18 colors. That is, I think, a fantastic range of colors for this because <clears throat> really there are only a few main colors so that means all of these extra are shades which is really going to look nice. We've got our symbols here which again they all look easy to distinguish. I don't see a problem with any of these. We have 
Let's check the clarity of our printing. I don't see anything that is printed out of its square. Everything looks like it is very well printed. Again, I am just amazed by how well they print these. These are, I haven't gotten any spring brand yet that are out of their boxes. Every single one is within its boxes perfectly. And again, like all of these canvases, they are surged on all four sides. Now, I forgot to tell you how many backstitch colors we have on this one. Looks like we have four. And one additional thing that I would like to point out is that right here, if you were ever to run out of a floss, or maybe you lose a floss or something, maybe your cat gets a hold of it and chews it up, you have the DMC numbers listed beside them. So you do not have to worry about trying to color match this. The DMC color is listed there, so you can easily replace damaged or missing or, you know, maybe you just stitch with a very long tail. You can be as not frugal as you want with your threads and still manage to match up the colors just fine because you can get more with the DMC. I really like that and I appreciate that because this I have gotten other charts before that do not list out the DMC colors for the threads and it makes it very difficult and then I end up getting nervous because I wonder if maybe I don't stitch as frugally as what they do and then I'm getting little bitty strands of floss left on my needle and I'm trying to stitch with an inch of floss and that's not good for anybody. So no worries there. It looks like the back stitching is not too bad on this one. It's mainly around the leaves and around the flowers. Of course, you'll have a little bit of back stitching for the words. But don't think this is too bad for back stitching. And I think, again, this is going to be fantastic for a travel kit. I like to put these in a bag, my stitching kit in the car. And then I can pull it out anytime we are stopped. Maybe we're doing bathroom breaks and I'm waiting on people. I can pull this out and work on something. And you'd be surprised how much you can get done with just by doing that. Gives me something to not be bored in the car. And if you're really if you're really good, you might even be able to stitch while you're driving. Well, no, not don't stitch while you're driving, but while you are riding as a passenger, perhaps you might be able to. Don't stitch while you're driving, though. That is bad, bad, very bad. Don't do that. <laughs> Nobody wants that. <laughs> All right, back to my face. All right, guys, so that was everything that we got. I am really excited to start these and work on them. I've got, I've got one project I'm already working on in the car, but it might even come inside so I can work on it some, so I'll be able to get to these. Or maybe I'll put two projects in the car in case I get bored of working on one. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to check out VIP Cross Stitch. I don't get anything for you using my discount code or anything, but it does help you out and will give you, I think you can stack your discount code, or my discount code, along with the sales that they are already running. So make sure you take advantage of that. 
I will see you guys again next time. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.